it's the last day of the 12 days of vlogmas yes it has been super mega awesome fun and i learned a lot about making videos and i feel like i let you guys a little bit more into my life and i got to know you guys a little bit better because you were all so wonderful and left a lot of comments on my vlogmas videos so thank you also rincey reads and nerd in translation both gave me shout outs in their videos and that was really really wonderful thank you lovely ladies thank you even though i'm really sad that vlogmas is over i'm actually also happy about it because now i can go back to spending the wee hours of the night reading a book instead of editing a video it'll be really nice anyway i wanted to end vlogmas on a high note with something that everyone loves a big stinking book haul and there are a lot of books here so i will try to be snappy about it i do not know how to snap if you want any more information on any of these books, I will link all of the Goodreads pages down below. The first book I bought in 2013, right after I posted my favorite books of 2012 video and all of you left those enabling comments telling me to just buy it, I did buy it. Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. Penguin Clothbound Edition, so beautiful! This is the Norman Denny translation. I did a little bit of research about the translations and I decided that the Norman Denny one is the one that I wanted to read because apparently it is the most true to the spirit of the original novel in French, so I got that one. Yes, I'm so excited! And the reason that this video is probably gonna go up late on January 5th is because I was waiting for this book to get here to be part of this book haul. The next 15 books that I'm gonna show you are all from Piccolo's books, and I made a little video about my trip there. I'll link it right here, and all these books are a dollar each. All of these books, plus tax, cost a total of $16.31. Such a good deal! That's how much I paid for this book by itself. So at P. Close Books, I got The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. I've read this book before, but I realized after reading it that I was reading an abridged edition, which made me really angry. I don't really mind reading an abridged version, I just did not realize that it was abridged, so I felt very deceived, and I was very mad at that book, so I donated it to the library. And when I saw this unabridged copy, I thought, I want another copy of that book, so I got it. And I want to reread this again at some point. It's massive. Me Talk Pretty One Day by David Sedaris. I'm sure this is going to be hilarious. The Facts Behind the Helsinki Rockamations by Yann Martel. I absolutely adored Life of Pi when I read it in high school. So I got this. This is a collection of four short stories. And I read on Goodreads that two of the short stories are okay and two of them are fantastic. So. For a dollar, I'm okay with that ratio. The War of Don Emmanuel's Nether Parts by Louis de Berniers. I'm gonna be honest with you, I got this because of the title, and I thought that it would be like a kind of shitty book, but I looked it up on Goodreads, and it's got like a four point something rating, which is really high, so I bought it. Caravan to Xanadu by Edison Marshall, and this is supposed to be a fictional recounting of Marco Polo's life, and grand journeys and historical travels, I'm totally in. Plus this cover just looks super cool. Even Cowgirls Get the Blues by Tom Robbins. My friend Allie, who I went to Piccolo's books with, absolutely loves this book, so I've been wanting to read this for a while. I've read Villa Incognito by Tom Robbins and really liked it, so I'm excited to read this. I got one more Tom Robbins book, but it is, I think, at the bottom of this pile, so we will see that later. Mr. Churchill's Secretary by Susan McNeil. I've been seeing this book everywhere. The bookstore, the airport, that's everywhere. This is about Churchill's secretary who supposedly becomes a spy, so that is super cool and I've really been wanting to buy this, so I'm so glad I found it for a dollar! Ooh, I am so excited about the next two. These are by Alexander McCall Smith and it is the number one ladies detective agency, the first book and the fourth book, The Kalahari Typing School for men. I have been wanting to read this series for so long. These books are about a woman in Botswana who starts a detective agency. I started reading the first book the day that I got it and it has been so delightful so far. I think there are like 11 books in the series now, but I'm just so glad I found the first one. I'm definitely gonna look for the second and third and all of the rest of them. Next book is also by Alexander McCall Smith. It is 44 Scotland Street. Where Angels Fear to Tread by E.M. Forster. This will be my first E.M. Forster book ever and I'm really really excited to read this. It's pretty small. Also that cover is delicious. Dante in Love, the world's greatest poem and how it made history by Harriet Rubin. I guess this is about the life of Dante who wrote the Divine Comedy. 
I love books that talk about people who write books. Love in the Time of Cholera by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Uh, if you've seen Serendipity, you know that this book plays a big part in that movie, so I've always wanted to read this book. Also, it's supposed to be really, really good, so yeah, dollar! Of Nightingales That Weep by Katherine Patterson. This is set in Imperial Japan, and it's about the daughter of a samurai. There's the other Tom Robbins, skinny legs and all. More Tom Robbins, yeah! So those are the 15 books that I got from Piccolo's books, but I have four more books here that were actually just given to me for free by my friend Ali. She just had a bunch of books in the trunk of her car that she wanted to get rid of, so I took some of them. First is Dangerous Angels by Francesca Leah Block, and this is the first book in the Wheat Sea Bat series, and Ali was really really excited for me to read this, so I'm really excited to read this. She also gave me Galapagos by Kurt Vonnegut, and I'm so excited because now I can add this to my three other Vonnegut books, and I like to see them all side by side, yay! A Heartbreaking Work of Staggering Genius by Dave Eggers, and Ali actually got this book. Where is it? Signed! Um, Ali doesn't like to, um, keep books that she knows she won't be rereading, so she gave this to me, and it's signed, and thank you, Ali! And the last book that I got from Ali is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Now, I already own this book, same exact edition, but since Ali was just gonna give it away, we decided that I would take it off our hands and give it to one of you guys. So if you don't own this book yet and would like to have the chance to win this copy, just mention in your comment below that you're interested in The Book Thief, and I will randomly pick the winner of this book and announce it at a later video and I will send you a message to let you know that you've won and I will send this book anywhere internationally. So this giveaway is sponsored by my friend Ali. Thanks very much Ali. You are awesome. And that is it for the 12 days of Vlogmas. Thanks for sticking around. And since it's the last day, I thought that I should finally look up the correct order to that song. So on the 12th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me 12 drummers drumming, 11 pipers piping, 10 lords a leaping, 9 ladies dancing, 8 maids a milking, 7 swans a swimming, 6 geese a laying, 5 gold rings, 4 collie birds, 3 french hens, 2 turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. In the middle of recording this video, I got a text from my friend Joel demanding to know where the 12th day of Vlogmas is. Oh my god!